Welcome to Lesson 7 of ATC Pro. This lesson will demonstrate how to handle two departing aircraft at the same time. We will be using a new facility, Miami, for this lesson. Let's get a new scenario set up on the duty desk. Make the following settings. For the facility, Miami. For weather, east flow, wind 080 degrees at 5 knots with few clouds. For traffic, set commercial departures all to 100% everything else zero percent for arrivals commercial at zero percent and everything else and for other all set to zero percent for your position now set Miami South departure that's whiskey to user control and all other positions to computer control for the shifts time set from your current time and day to 1220 on Saturday you can right click and choose from the previous times menu if repeating this session. Click the begin your shift button. When the program finishes loading, go ahead and pause the sim to rearrange the pop-up windows and set up maps on the scope before our controlling session. On the COM panel, click on the TXL and RXL buttons on the second row, Whiskey, if not already on. You can close this window to get it out of the way if you want. Move and resize the flight information strip window and the communications history window as desired, as in previous lessons. Click on the range button on the DCB and set it to 30. Click on the place center button and move the control area up to have better visibility on the screen. Click on maps, then map 16, ZMA SEC, the center frequencies. Click on airspace, then map 500, that's Whiskey East. Click on ARRDEP, then Kilo Mike India Alpha, then map 312, that's Minate 1, and 315, that's Skips 1. Click Done. Unpause the sim and I'll explain what's going on. Listen to the briefing so we know that the scope is under our control. Miami Airport is VFR, operating east flow. Altimeter is 3021, fully staffed. Departing runways, 8 right, 1, 2, 9 or 8 left. Climbing American 2173 to 16000. Okay, your scope. You will see in the lower part of our airspace, American 2173 climbing on the EONS 1 departure procedure. Enter Charlie, then click the data tag to begin the handoff to center. When the data tag turns green, give the center frequency. I'll do that now. American 2173, contact Miami Center, 135.65. Miami Center on 135.65. Good day, American 2173. Now that American 2173 is out of the way, we will have two departing aircraft to handle in a minute. First, you will see American 1331 show up on radar. Pause the sim while I describe a few things. Notice his data tag in the list has the letter Sierra, which stands for skips. When his flight strip pops up, you can see he will be on the John Z-1 departure with the skips transition. Rather than clear him for the departure procedure, let's give him clearance to fixes along the way for practice. The first fix of the procedure is Victor Kilo Zulu, spoken Virginia Key. You can look up the pronunciation in the info display pop-up window. Notice the altitude boundaries of our airspace when the aircraft take off from the runway. It shows SFC-70, that means we own from the surface to 7,000 in this area. Let's give an initial climb to 7,000 for American 1331. If you get any alert warnings when the aircraft first appears on radar, you can ignore them. These are automatically generated and won't affect your score unless the instructor makes a comment on the communications history window. Unpause the sim and I'll give the first command now. 
American 1331, Miami departure, radar contact, climb and maintain 7,000, proceed direct to Virginia Key. Climbing to 7,000, direct Virginia Key, American 1331. Now American 1331 is on his way and we have another departure, American 925. After he has called us on our frequency, pause the sim while I describe a few things. Miami departure, American 925 is with you, climbing out of 800 for 5,000. American 925 has the flight plan of John Z1, Manate transition, the letter Mike on the list. The first fix of the procedure is Victor Kilo Zulu, same as a previous aircraft's route. Let's give him a clearance for the first fix along with a climb to 7,000. Unpause the sim and I'll give the first command now. American 925, Miami departure, radar contact, climb and maintain 7,000, proceed direct to Virginia Key. Can you repeat this for American 925, 7,000? American 925, Miami departure, radar contact, climb and maintain 7,000, proceed direct to Virginia Key. 7,000, direct Virginia Key, American 925. Now we can give the full departure procedure clearance. American 925, join the John Z1 departure. Join the John Z1 departure, American 925. Now both of our departures are on their way. Pretty quickly, American 1331 will need a clearance to the exit fix of our airspace, Krabby in this case. I'll give that command now. American 1331, proceed direct to Krabby. Did you want crab B for American 1331? American 1331, affirmative. Direct crab B, American 1331. Note that sometimes the pilot asks for clarification about a fixed name and you have to confirm it. We watch both aircraft until they cross the next altitude boundary where we will give the climb to 16,000. American 1331, climb and maintain 16,000. Climbing to 16,000, American 1331. Now let's skip ahead to when American 925 will cross the next boundary and we'll give her the command to climb. American 925, climb and maintain 16,000. 16,000, American 925. Now we can hand off each aircraft to center. Enter the letter Charlie and click on American 1331. When the data tag turns green, we can give the frequency change. American 1331, contact Miami Center, 133.85. Miami Center on 133.85, American 1331. Let's skip ahead to where we can make the handoff for American 9 or 25. Enter the letter Charlie and click on American 9 or 25. When the data tag turns green, give the frequency change. American 9 or 25, contact Miami Center, 124.7. Miami Center on 124.7. Good day, American 925. That's it for this lesson. In the next lesson, 8, you will practice controlling two arriving aircraft at the same time. You can click the X in the upper right to end the lesson.